Laurie here. Today I am going to do a collab with Prue from Prue, Prue LaRue and she's from Australia, I'm from New Zealand so we're kind of close neighbours and um, we're close neighbours in terms of countries <laughs> that is. and so Prue is a nurse so she does different shift work and things and um, she loves makeup and makeup is her kind of wind down, relax, de-stress thing and that's the same with me as well. So we definitely have that in common. And we decided we were going to do the tri palette because we both have the tri palette and we chose each other's colours for each other. So this is the colour scheme that she chose for me. So she chose this light green one, this green one, this shimmer, this orange one, and the very dark green one. So um, I think all those go really nicely together. I need to turn the light down a bit so you can see the colours. I don't know how well you can see that one, but there is a colour there. <laughs> So, um, but then when I look at this palette, it's like, can you make a colour scheme that doesn't go together with this palette? I have my doubts. <laughs> so, I actually don't think this should be too hot, but famous last words, I say that and then that, that things don't always turn out the way you think. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with this light green one here. So, so it's the Triad by Juvius which I'm sure a lot of you know of already. Um, that's how yeah, I think the colour is called. And I'm going to put this in my crease. So I found Prue through Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, or Annetta if you pronounce it correctly. <laughs> going with this Chi Chi pencil brush. No, it's not. It's a pencil in a corner brush, it's called. And I'm going to go in with the screen. To see. I probably aren't pronouncing any of these. Never mind. I'm going to put that just here. So Prue does lots of collapse and she does lots of hauls and she does lots of trying out palettes with looks and She's started doing shop my stash. So lots of variety on there. I'm gonna go in with Omaro. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that orange? I'm gonna put that on my orange corner. And then I'm gonna go in I think I'm gonna go back into the very light green that looks almost yellow. And then I'm going to go into Kula, Kula, I can't say that, K-U-R-L-A, it's a and I'm going to put that in the outer corner, so Kula likes colourful makeup looks like I do, and she likes experimenting and playing with lots of makeup. And playing with colour schemes and trying things out and I really enjoyed it. I, I like seeing people really experiment and play. Because that's what I like to do as well. Just going back into that orange. Just going back and forth and blending until I get it where I want it. And she's like me, she doesn't do things in a regular order or anything. She just does it the way it works for her and she'll go back and forth and change things around just like I do. So I think we have a lot in common in that way. I do it because I don't know what I'm doing and <laughs> so it doesn't look right. I just keep going <laughs> until I get something that I want. And then go back into the 
nyampe and then I'm going to mm, I think I'll get a small brush it might be too small hang on I'll get a small brush slightly bigger than the other one and I'm going to go into Kuro on the brow bone Get it went crazy on that side maybe it could just be the way the light's shining on it so let's use the black wings in the background um, my daughter decided to tidy her room guess where all the stuff ended up that she didn't want anymore <laughs> so I've got random bits of stuff around me that I need to find somewhere to put because like I think it, I think she was thinking I don't want to throw this out but I don't want to keep it in my room <laughs> so it's ended up in here anyone else have any kids today <laughs> like I'm tidying my room <laughs> so you can't complain yeah, I can't I think that that tiny bit from my cover pop puppy is too small to put back in. I don't even know if you'll put to see that. I can't hold it up because it's too tiny. It just keeps falling off. So I'm just going to have to roll it up. Oh. And another bit's broken off. This one just breaks all the time. It drives me nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to use the Colourpop liner and puppy. I'm going to go back into the matte orange that we used in the other video. So I'm going to go around here. And then I'm going to go into the light green that we used over here. And then I'm going to pull it right around as well. And then I'm going to go into Kuro, which was that sparkly colour. And then I'm going to go into Kuro and wet my brush. And I want to put it between those two colours. try and do the slightly unexpected because I feel like I like to be really predictable in my looks so if I see something that is like oh yeah I could do that with that but it's a very predictable thing I will try and think of something less predictable to do with it because I don't like to be the same. <laughs> See anyone else like that? And Pro never does anything. Well, I, I, I won't say never because that's a big word. I'll say she always surprises me with the looks she does. It's never quite, well, it's very often not quite what I expected her to do with colors because she has quite a few bingos and stuff so she'll get colors and I'll go oh, okay and then she'll do something completely different that I hadn't even thought of and it's I love that <laughs> okay I need some brown liner and I'm still trying to use my tiny teeny pencil that that's that's all that's left of it at some point it's just going to be too hard to use and I'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner so I was supposed to be doing a um, pink look today but um, I had to get up in a hurry this morning and take my daughter into town and um, it's like 
40 minutes away. <laughs> so by the time I got back, I, I, I was wearing mustardy kind of colours and I couldn't be bothered changing my clothes to do a pink look because I want to wear pink when I do the pink look. And so I thought, what look can I do that I've got planned that will go with what I'm wearing? So that's it. I've got some makeup on that's worn off and um, I thought, I know, <laughs> the tribe palette and my collab with Prue will go perfectly with what I'm wearing. So that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> Now, with the dry brush, I just want to do a little bit of blending between those two colours because it's quite a harsh line at the moment. And I want to go back into this colour here because I feel like I've lost that. I love all the colours in this palette green and orange together, it's like orange pink together. I love golden turquoise together. I love pink and green together. <laughs> I, I, love, I love so many different colour combinations. I have so much trouble deciding on what to do and that's what I like about makeup is that it's not permanent so I can do a look with colour and then the next day I can do something else. And to me that is fun. I can experiment with lots of different colours. Trying to choose colours to put on the walls of my house that are going to be way more permanent, I find really, really difficult because I never know when I'm going to get tired of the colour or I'm going to think, oh, why would I want to have this colour? <laughs> Whereas with painting, I can just do another painting. wash it off and do another look the next day. Now I'm only putting my foundation in the middle here because that's where it's worn off because I've still got some around the outside so I'm not going to bother with the outside. I need to wet my sponge a bit because it's dried out from this morning. I think that looks okay. And I'm going to need some concealer because I wiped all that off when I wiped my other eye makeup off. I'm a bit tired. I mean, must be all the driving I did this morning. Hold me out a bit and I'll roll dark circles under my eyes. <laughs> Which is probably why I can't really get any change when I go home. I'm like, because I was a bit tired. Bye bye. Drive is quite um, tiring. <laughs> so, what do I want to do now? Let's have a look. These are so not even. This one is way too not even. This one's got more orange here and less yellow, and this one's got more yellow and more orange. Can we pretend it's supposed to be like that? Sorry, I accidentally pressed stop. My arm hurt. <laughs> no, I don't want to stop the thing. So that's something else that Prue and I have got in common, is that um, we don't ever get our makeup even. Does anybody get their makeup even? I don't know. I think. I'm going to go in with this colour as my blush. And I'm going to use my bronzing brush for it because I want something a bit more fluffy. Otherwise I'm going to end up extremely orange. Not that I mind that much because I like orange. When I went to Australia, Prue had said to me, Oh, you could come and visit if you want while you're over there. Which was so nice of her. And I would have loved to have done that. Maybe next year. We'll see how we go. But um, my husband wasn't well enough after travelling over here. We were only there for two weeks. And so he didn't travel to a minimum. And while we were there, and also, as soon as she said it, I went, oh, that sounds really cool. Oh, that sounds really scary, because meeting people I haven't actually met personally. <laughs> the anxiety kicked in a bit, but um, mostly it was because my husband wasn't well by the time we got over there. But it's okay. We just keep communicating, and hopefully one day we'll get there, because
Yes, I'm Bree from Purple Pink Red is over in Australia too and um, hopefully I'll be able to meet her one day as well. So I'm going to put my um, mascara on. <laughs> what do I want for a highlighter today? I'm doing that now. <laughs> I just got some of this colour here and stuck it on with my highlighter and I sweat off. And uh, I just put on my lips my Ultra 3 in Soft Toffee because it's a nude but it's an orangey nude and so it goes with the orange in the eyeshadow. Here is my final look with the Tribe Paste from Juvia's. Now I got this palette from the wonderful Kaylee Wesley. She sent it to me in a friend mail and I just love it. I love the look too and it's not, I feel like it's not that predictable for this palette because you're mixing all three of the colours, well two of the, it's green and orange but this one, this green is so light that next to the other dress Greens. I feel like it translates more yellow than green but um that is my look please go and check out Prue I will leave her up in the cards and down below and um she is funny and creative and a lot of fun to watch and I would encourage you to all go and check her out if you're not already so thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time